beginning of the one the Starlight Let's Play is here. So I just finished up a new Neptunia video, it's completely done and ready for upload. But then shit went down in the Neptunia fan art community and it's pretty scummy honestly. Some of you who followed Neptunia artists may have heard of a 19 year old German artist named Spleeny. She's done some amazing work on characters from Neptunia and she's pretty she's a pretty good artist. However, recently she got called out for scamming a client for 150 euro, which is 180 dollars in US dollars. A Twitter user named Inner made tweets about the situation. As Spleeny, hello, I'm writing everywhere now because I have to hope you'll read it somewhere. I want to let you know to send me my money back. It's been two months now. And I still didn't receive my package nor an update to the commissions I asked for. I'll ask other artists for it. I'm sorry for whatever I did wrong, apparently because there has to be a reason why this happened. I promise I won't annoy you anymore after I got my money. So these were two tweets they made back in September, which means they pretty much commissioned back in July of this year. However, nearly three months later, they made this tweet saying this. Sorry for the repost, I have pinged the wrong spleeny, but the story behind is true. She scammed me for 150 euros and I haven't received my commission or money back after several months. Please, I just want my money back, back at spleeny. And then it shows a picture given a 5 step timeline. This is what it says, spleeny's guideline to working as an artist. Step 1, open commissions no matter what you have currently. Step 2. Only accept money as a fund via PayPal. Remember to accept payment on PayPal as a fund only. This way, your commissioner won't be able to refund your money on a commission you're working on. Step 3. Sleep and ignore any messages from your commissioners for months. So, <laughs> Step 4. Only begin to work on commissions if you are called out publicly private DMs can be ignored safely as long as you like. Step 5. Block anyone who calls you out or any uh, or ask for any updates. <laughs> so to summarize what has happened, Enri paid 150 euros for three commissions from Spleeny, but after over five months of not receiving their commissions or their money back, they went with one last resort, which led to the recent tweet that I read out. Now, in my honest opinion, this is such a bad situation for Spleeny. Not only has she been called out for scamming this person, but she's decided to work on the commissions, but only because she was called out for it. Like, is it really that hard to refund the client if you haven't done the commissions for over five months? This is a very scummy business practice, and the fact that she's trying to brush it off is ridiculous. If the client wants their money back for not receiving what they paid, for just will fund them or and try to learn from their mistakes. Thanks for your work. She looks amazing and sorry for all the stress, but after all this time and complications, I like to have my money back for the remaining two commissions. My trust has been severely hurt and I don't want you to draw the pictures with a bad taste in your mouth because of what happened. I hope you understand. Now I just hope everyone sees the situation and I hope they hold Spleeny accountable because this is unacceptable, and the fact that people tried to defend her is also unacceptable. This is someone who screwed over a client over $180. Like, I can't even imagine how much one commission would cost. And I understand that it takes time to work on an art piece. It'd probably take about a week or two to make amazing fan art. But this has been going on for over five months. If she was dealing with real life issues, then that I understand. But she didn't keep contact with Inari that much, didn't even update on, on the progress of their commission. How can anyone ever defend her actions on this? And Inari is not the only person, there have been many other claims of Spleeny scamming other clients for money, which are alleged claims, because I don't know if they are true or not, but if they are, then all the more reasons for her to be held accountable. And thank goodness this is getting some attraction too. Plus, just because she's working on them now, doesn't make the situation better. The damage is already done, and it's a shame too because she makes such lovely Neptunia fan art. I actually enjoy seeing what she's worked on. And while I don't really follow her that on Twitter, I still see her fan art in, in any time of day, and I think it looks amazing. But this is something that I really cannot accept. 
To all upcoming Neptunia artists out there, don't encourage this type of criminality. If you're gonna have commissions, at least form good connections with the clients and update them on what you have so far. And to Splaney, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, just pay the person the money and move on. How hard is it to do something that simple? But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Please share this video to everyone you know in the Neptune community. This has to be addressed more because this isn't the type of thing we should let slide. So yeah, but anyway, that's going to be it for me. The next Neptunian video should be coming out on Monday. So I'll see you then. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a like. Um, if you want to support this channel further and join the Starlight family, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you can get updated on videos that I upload. Also, my social media is down in the description below. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and you can follow me on Discord. I have a Discord server called the Starlight Community. And as well, you can also follow my SoundCloud. All of the links will be in the description below. Um, but until then, this is the Starlight Let's Play signing out. As always, go Kigenyo and have a star day, everyone.